Hello everyone. My name is Shahrukh Darvesh. I am working as an integration developer at Techie Geek of Software Solutions. So today I am going to explain how to configure a trading partner with a to communication method. So these are all the topics. So today I'm going to explain like common terminologies which we are going to use and introduction about AS2 communication method and types of keys and how to use those keys for configuring AS2 and practical implementation in Boomi and monitoring the transactions and some of the benefits of AS2. So coming to the terminologies, so EDA stands for electronic data interchange. So it is a standard electronic format which replaces paper-based documents such as purchase order invoices. And in EDA transaction, the information flows directly from the computer application of an organization to computer application of other organization. So coming to B2B, so B2B stands for business to business. It refers to the transaction and interaction that occur between two or more businesses or organizations. So vendors refers to business or organizations that supplies goods or services to other organizations. So coming to partners, partners are any organizations engaging data exchange using EDA technology. And in like we will have inbound and outbound transactions coming to inbound, uh, it refers to flow of electronic document from external trading partner or vendor in an organization. An organization in the sense, my company. So coming to outbound transaction, it refers to flow of electronic documents from an organization to external trading partner or vendor. So next is MDN. MDN stands for message disposition notification. So it is an acknowledgement sent to the sender that the receiver got the data. So, and it also refers that the messages were received and successfully decrypted. And coming to the communication methods. So in EDI, we will use different communication methods. Uh, like EIS2, FTP, SFTP, uh, HTTP, DISC, and these are also some of the communication methods we are going to use. And in today's TikTok, talk, I'm going to explain about EIS2 communication method. So EIS2 stands for Applicability Statement 2. It is a popular protocol to transmit data securely and reliably over the internet. And AS2 supports the encryption of messages, data exchange with trading partners and vendors via HTTP protocol. So these messages are built using the MIME format. So in mainly AS2 is used to exchange different data such as EDI, XML, or custom documents between partners. So there are the sub, uh, there are several keys which we are going to use, like the sender in the sense the client and receiver in the sense server. So sender will have its own sender private certificate and sender public key and receiver's public key. So coming to receiver, receiver will have receiver's private ser private key. So that is um, server's private key and server server's public key. And along with that, it will have client's public key. So that this um, sender public key will use to encrypt the data which we are, which we are going to send from the server to the client. So let me explain how to how these keys will be used. So client will sign the data with its private key and encrypt the file with server's public key. Once the data and the file has been encrypted, so it uses the client's private key to sign the communication channel and server's public key to encrypt the communication channel. So once this channel has been en encrypted and signed, so you so then it uses the client's public key to verify the channel and server's private key to decrypt the communication channel. So once had, this has been done, so we will next the server will validate the file with client's public key and decrypt the file with server's private key. So this is how the keys we are going to work in AS2 protocol. Now let us do some practical implementation in Boomi. So as we know, we can configure a start trip in four different ways like connector, trading partner, data pass through and no data. So I'm going to use trading partner and there are several communication methods like AS2, DSK, FTP, HTTP and so on. So we are going to use AS2 as a communication method. So let us now configure the my company. So these are all the fields we need to configure. So this is the EDA document which I am going to use. By referring to this, I will populate these values. 
like here ISA 01 and 02 values we need to give as your authorization information. So the qualifier will be 00. Here ISA 01 will be the qualifier and ISA 02 will be the ID. So here we have given the values and ISA 03 and 04 this value we need to pass. So ISA 03 is the 0 and ISA 04 we are not having any values. So here in the interchange ID, ISA 05 and 06 defines the sender and 07 and 08 defines the re receiver. So as a receiver, uh, we are going to populate these values like we are going to give ISA 07 and 08 values. So ISA 07 is 12 and ISA 08 is this value which we have already assigned. So coming to ISA version and control options. So the interchange standard ID will be the ISA 11. So, so this is the ISA 11 value that I have already populated. So ISA 012 value is this. So coming to this interchange acknowledgement request requested. If the value of the ISA 14 will be one means we need to check this box or else if the value is zero means we need not need to check this box. And test indicator is ISA 15. So this is the value of ISA 15, that is P. So we have selected production. So this is the component separator, ISA 16. So here we are having that value as ISA 16, the greater than symbol. So coming to GS version and control options. So GS02 will be the sender and GS03 will be the receiver. As we are, we are making use of a GS03, so that will be the partner ID. And here, responsible responsible agency code will be the GS07. So that we have already given, that is the value of X. And this will be the GS version that will come from the GS08. So this is its value. So this is how we can configure my company. And coming to the communication method. So we can add multiple methods. So I have already configured the AS2 communication method. So coming to AS2 configuration, so AS2 ID will be the receiver ID and whatever the uh, files or the data which has been sent by the client, so that will be the decrypted by using server's private certificate and whatever the data or acknowledgement which we are sending back to the client, so that will be the signed by using server's private certificate and this will be the use for the MDN signing certificate and coming to the message encode, encoding, so it will use a mm -hmm, and default specification format that is RFC 5751. So this is the latest specification version. And if you are going to use any legacy um, specification means this uh, checkbox should be checked or else it will use the latest specification content types. So we are going to use the test and text slash pen. So whatever the messages we are sending that should be signed means we will we need to check this box. Like if, uh, whenever the uh, any whenever the client sends any data to the server, so the once the server decrypts those data and file, it will send an MDM notification. So that if we want to get that acknowledgement, means we need to check this box. And if the acknowledgement has to be signed, uh, means it should be this checkbox should be checked, and it will use different algorithms for the signing the uh, signing the file. So these are all the configuration we can do. So now coming to the um, trading partner. So coming to a extra standard of the trading partner. So if you want to get, get any acknowledgement means uh, we need to select the option. Once these options has been selected, so we are using the star delimiter like we can see so here the delimiter is we are using is a star so and the segment terminator character we are using as a new line so we can also use make use of tilde and all as a segment terminator so these are all the values i have already given so let us run how this is going to work So this for this process, we need to create a package and deploy to an anonymy.
So once the deployment has been done, so we need to have a separate process where we are. So where we are sending a document. So this is the EDI document I am sending. And we are making use of layers to client connector. And let us see the connection component in the URL. So this will be the base URL, which we can get from the shared web server. And we need to append by using forward slash AS2. This is how we can configure the connection. And we will be having only one action that is sent. And in the operation, so we need as in the server side, we have specified as a AS2 ID as a receiver ID. And in the client side, we need to specify as a sender ID. And for the signing certificate, we will be using client's private certificate. And whenever we are signing uh, to a server, so we will be having a server's public key for the encryption of data. So we are making use of server's public, public key to encrypt the data. As the previous process we have deployed, let me run and show. as it has successfully executed. So let me go to process reporting. So the process has been executed successfully. And here we can see, so as we are having, a, there are three branches like document acknowledgement and errors. So whatever the document which has been processed, we can see here. So let me show you the document. So this is the document. And we will get an acknowledgement. So this is the acknowledgement we have got. As we have requested for the MDN, so we can get from the rent, local runtime directory from the work folder. So here we can see the AS2 folder. So this is the MDN we have got. So let us see some of the benefits of using AS2. Like there will be complete encryption for sensitive files and file integrity verification with successful transfer confirmation, capable of transferring files of any volume or size, support for synchronous or asynchronous MDN receipts, and using digital signatures to authenticate sender and recipient. So there are some of the references. So this is how we can configure um, AS2 protocol in a trading partner. Thank you.